What is going on guys? DBG here and today, 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 we're going to be another, doing another episode of the series where I rate your squats. So before we get onto it, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. We are trying to, well, gain one subscriber today. That would be great. We actually gained subscribers yesterday. So huge shout out to anyone who's, um, who is new to the channel. So again, thanks to just everyone that consistently watches the channel. It's still crazy that even in the deadest of dead seasons, views are still chipping away. So big thank you guys. But anyway, yeah. So this is obviously uh, a picture from the previous old episode. So now we tweeted out. If you guys want to be involved, I will occasionally just tweet out send teams and you send teams. Preferably pictures in higher quality than this, but preferably... Um, What's it? Preferably have like what, how much MT you have and how you play. So no money spent. Have 30k. Looking to upgrade bench small forward because Bingo's a bit short for the position. Love Warriors playbook. Okay, first of all, a Baka power forward is a bold move. That is a really bold move. Um, Bingo. You know the easiest player to, is just replace Griffith. Your point guards are fine. Actually, wait a second. No, sell that Jason Terry. Get the non mass one. You save a bunch of MT, and the non mass one's actually better because his tendencies are way better. Um, I don't really like Karan Butler. Get Matisse Tybal instead of Karan Butler. Matisse Tybal's going to cost you 2k. And then instead of Daryl Griffith, get Sadiq Bay. If you want to play him as your three off the bench. And then move probably Bingo to two. He's better. Uh, power forward off the bench. I mean, there are a lot of guys you can use. I'm not a fan of Serge at power forward. To be honest, I prefer Serge at center, DeAndre Jordan at center, but Serge at power forward? Uh, I don't know. Like, if you want to run City Bay at power forward, there you can. Or a lot of guys. Like, even heck, Darius Miles is probably better at the four than Ibaka. I don't think. Who else, who else is there that could play, that's cheap and can play at the four? Like, obviously, Miles holds his own. If you have Ghost or Agus, it's pretty good. Um, I mean, Covington, Covington and Sadiq Bay as your what are your power forwards? That works. Rocco and Sadiq Bay. That's your third. Rocco, Sadiq Bay, and Matisse Thibault. That's combined ten k, and your team's significantly better. Overall, this team, I'm, I like Mos Malone, but like this is a at this stage like a seven out of ten. Okay, this picture is not high enough quality. This is not high enough quality. There we go. Nice quality here. I play mostly offline. I like to do pick and rolls and feed to your centers or three home with Pete and Mullen. 50k because you just bought Pete. Big Tatum fan, so you're not getting rid of him. Okay. That is fair enough. Okay. If you play offline, the Ruby Rose does the exact same job as the Diamond Rose. He really does. If you're playing offline, it makes no odds. Because you don't need, like, the big difference is the half quick first step, which is very important playing as a user. But it makes no odds playing against a, uh, a CPU. Like, I know you want to make your team as good as possible. But again, if you play mostly offline, Ha Sang Jin does the exact same job as Kareem. And I'm not even joking with that. Ha is equally as good as Kareem Abdul Jabbar offline. Online, obviously, um, he says he replaced Kelly with Sign Bone. I do like Sign Bone. Um, by Sadiq Bay for. Johnson. Then Ha Sung Jin. Probably for Kareem. And you've made a whole bunch of MT. Um, and then downgrade your tacky downgrade your D Rose. Because if you're playing offline, it makes no odds of the same card. So, yeah, you could easily get like 250k MT and have a team that's equally as good as this. It's an alright team. I mean, if you're playing offline, you can win. It is what it is. Okay. Let's scroll down. Rondo. Okay. I do, this team is, is not very good. I just want to say that. You have got a six foot tall and six foot one backcourt. You've got Mullen who's okay. And then you've got a broken release Lamar Odom and Tim Duncan at center. This is a very, very like... Moe's a 6'10 is 90 vertical Hall of Fame rebound. Only center to give you troubles Wilder Howard. Then you use Baj Dayton. Like there is absolutely no reason to use Tim Duncan over De DeAndre Ayton. Like, there's there is absolutely no reason to use TBD over DeAndre. I'm just putting it out there right now. Like, 
Tim Duncan is just like significantly better than DeAndre Ayton. So, sorry, Duncan or Ayton significantly better than Tim Duncan. So I will go for that. Um, you've got on Houston. Like, there's no point having Trey Young at the end of your bench. He's he's like 40k to just sit there and do nothing. Houston versus Bingo. I actually do prefer Bingo to be fair. CP3. I mean, uh, Snow is just better than Chris Paul. Like, Eric Snow is straight up better than Chris Paul. And he's cheaper as well. Mark Aguirre is actually not bad. I, I will not say to get rid of him. He's actually all right. Batum, Mark Aguirre, Moses Malone, your bench are fine. But, like, your best five is probably... Like, Rondo's okay as well, but, like, he, he can't really, like, he can't really deal with getting paint. Like, he can get paint matched by a 6'3 guard, like. Like, Rondo and Mitchell are just too small together. You can get away with one of them, but not both. Odom just sucks. I get rid of Odom. You have Batum. Evo up Batum. Start Batum instead of Odom. Start DeAndre Ayton instead of Tim Duncan. Sell both of them. Um... You, you can keep Rondo, honestly, if you like him, because he is free. Uh, sell Chris Paul, get Eric Snow, or if you if you have the FT, get Tyrese Maxey. Um, and then just put in Sadiq Bay for the Lamar Odom on your teams. Your team's like significantly better than this. I mean, you just need like a taller, a taller two guard instead of Donovan Mitchell. And like you have more than enough money for Jalen Brown then. Your team gets way better. Okay. Fake team. You think you can catch me out? You think you can catch me out? You really think you can catch me out? You think you can put a fake player in a small forward I'm not going to realize? You really think you can put a fake player at small forward I'm not going to notice? I see you, D2 Drippy. I see you trying to put in a fake card here. No, no, you're not tricking me. You're not tricking me. I know for a fact that this card does not exist. I know for a fact he does not exist. Outside, like if that is your like if if that is your real team, obviously you do have a fake card. If they're if all your players are real, this team is exceptional. This is like a nine out of ten team. Um not even full team yet. This is weird. So you have four hundred or so K or you've three hundred K tied up in the center. You got Bam out of the bayou. As Kendrick Perkins would say at power forward. You spent two hundred K on Dwight. And you got Jordan, you got, whatever Jordan Poole, I like Jordan Poole, but Karan Butler is your two guard? Amari sucks, by the way. He absolutely sucks. Bam and Abayo is way too expensive. Why would you, why do you have Richard Jefferson in your team? Like, I get it, Richard Jefferson is all right, but like, you're running Karan Butler and Bingo Smith off your bench, like, I, actually, you know what, Richard Jefferson actually works at that starting lineup, he does, because he's really good on defense, and he's only like a 100 guy. Marcus Gasol. I personally think Marcus Gasol is the best center in the game. Like, there's no need to have 300k tied up. You're him, and you're gonna play Bam with power forward. Just get Josh Smith. Josh Smith is, Josh Smith is slightly worse Bam, but he's got a way better steal. Um, so like Josh Smith is essentially equal equal to Bam and bio, and he is also like 40k cheaper. Um, Amare sucks. Just get Sadiq Bay. Um, just get. Valuable for Karan Butler. I mean, if you like Jordan Poole, keep Jordan Poole. He's actually not a bad card. He is not bad at all. I do prefer Maxi, but like Jordan Poole is not bad at all. Like overall, I mean, it's not a bad team. Outside of oh, sorry, you've got Thibel there on the bench. Outside of Amara, there aren't really any bad players. And I'm not that high on Karan Butler. You know, he's okay. So, meh. Team's very, very meh. That's all I will say very meh okay so couple of jordan pool kyle lowry okay no money spent for playing unlimited spm is tough especially outside of north america and australia yeah man spmm is so tough in anywhere outside america because you if you have a 50 percent win record you are facing guys in the show enter like there are there isn't there is not enough people to do to have an accurate skill-based matchmaking in any of these so i literally just face it to payton every single time it is the worst thing ever. I'm, I'm literally having to go back to current gen. I didn't even play current gen all year and I've had to go back to current gen. But, um, Snow, Harden, Hondo. I mean, I would just get the other version of Hondo. 
I mean, like, no, you're, let's be real. You're not going to lock in for anything, and that the other version's way cheaper. I like Roko. I would start Patoom at the 4 over Roko at the 4. Because Roko is undersized, and Maz Turner is not particularly tall. And at least Patoom gets you an in, an, like, an one inch uh, more in height. But then you've got, like, a big center. So, kind of combos up. Why the hell is Carmelo Anthony on the bench for John Havlicek? Unless you're doing the DBG tactic of your bench being better than your starters. Um, Kyle Lowry sell and get maxi. I'm pretty sure they're around the same price. Um, or even Jordan Poole works. Or Dejounte. Most of those moments point guards. Heck, even Dimwitty works. Most of those moments point guards actually work pretty well. Um, but I don't understand why Melo's going off the bench unless it's tactically tactics reason. But or not, you don't have too many bad players in your team. Your team's looking all right. Should you sell Steph uh, with that team? Probably. Yeah, your team's not very good. Like, I get it. You've got some good... I mean, it's not unusably bad. You've got the bad Aldridge. You've got the Aldridge without Hall of Fame post band technician. You've got a Baca at the 5 who's all right. Like, that means you're playing Aldridge at the 4, which is weaker position. Jamal Murray is just basically Ruby. Um, He is the Ruby version of Kobe White. He's basically Ruby Kobe White. I don't mind Gary Harris. Honestly, I don't. But, like, in my opinion, Thibault's just straight up better than Gary Harris. Like, you can make this team better. Like, look, Jamal Murray's not even as good as Jalen Suggs. Um, Harden's fine. Bingo's fine. Mullen's fine. I mean, your set, DeAndre's not even that bad. Like, just get yourself Sadiq Bey. Get yourself Tyrese Maxey. Um, if you want a shooter, I mean, a cock is not too bad an option. Like, you don't really have anybody to sell except for Aldridge. So, that leaves you on, like, 100k. So, you can't really buy anybody. Except for maybe buy, like, a Roko and play him at the four. I think that works. But, other than that, you kind of need to keep your spend expenditure to a minimum. I would probably go Maxi, Sadiq Bay, Jalen Suggs, and Roko. And then, kind of, a whole other rest of the team. This is not a bad team. Not a very, not a good team, but not a bad team. And also, yeah, yeah, just sell stuff. Steph, Steph is well worth 100k, but the problem is that with this team, unless you're unbelievably good with Steph, yeah, you might as well sell. If you're really good with Steph, he's the best player in the game. Okay. Use your four the playmaker. Run plays and use your four as the playmaker. Dimer. Use your guys to penetrate limitless takeoff or paint match with slithery. The slithery matter for paint mashing. And find out machine to kick out pin downs. Wanted uh, Silas, but couldn't get him. He was not real, so don't worry about that. Thinking of Batum at the four, because you got good playmaking, 50k budget. Um, not having a backup center is a bold move. That is a very, very bold move, running a nine man. I understand running a ten man. And I mean, even if you really want to run a nine man, or you really want to not have uh, run goals on the bench, get... Um, Get what's his name? Get Buddy Heald. Because at least Buddy Heald has got like Kobe release. I think he does he have bronze range. So Kawhi's good, Roko's good, DeAndre Ayton's good. Like you've got my two centers. And I really like Kawhi. I still think at, to this day Kawhi is brilliant in this game. Um Chris Mullen. I like him. I like Boone. I like all the players. I just find the nine-man rotation weird. Like, I understand someone doing an eight-man rotation. I understand a ten, but nine is weird. Like, even just chuck in. I don't know. Just, even just chuck in some goals that can do stuff. I don't know. I know. The nine-man is weird. The nine-man... I'm just... I don't know what it is. I just feel really weird about a nine-man rotation. Okay. Then... Then, okay, I like this team. Nice budget squad. Herder is just better than Hero. Change Gobert for better big. Yeah, get Elgowskis for Gobert. LaFrance the four is interesting. Unless you want to put just LaFrance as your bench five. Sadiq Bay is God. Furka and Korkmaz. I mean, it, the funny thing was, is like this would be a squad that, say, if this was 2K20 pre SBMM days. I would be like, yeah, you can run this team against almost anybody. Like, you can, unless you are facing against, like, my whole thing was, like, unless you are facing a really good player with a god squad, you can always compete with budget squads. The problem is, is that nowadays, 
if you are running a budget squad and you're even above average at this game you are only facing really good players a good squad so you're no longer facing mediocre players a bad squad so look it's a SBMM's kind of ruined budget squads. It's kind of ruined the game in general. Like, it's not kind of. It has really ruined the game in general. Like, I'll, nobody plays the, really plays the game anymore. Um, it has been one of the worst new additions ever in a 2K. It's been one of the worst things ever added into a 2K game. And I don't understand why 2K did it. Like, every single gaming company has added it in. Player base has hated it. And 2K decided to bring it in. They were the only sports game. Didn't have it for a while. Oh, Jesus, it's ruined it all. It's ruined it all. Okay, so have 300 KMT. If you really like Isaiah Thomas, as much as I do think that um, what's his name is good, I do really rate Ram Boone. If you like Isaiah Thomas, get Tyrese Maxi. Tyrese Maxi is basically just another Isaiah Thomas. Mullen's good, Batum's good, AK Dikembe. Oh, I like that team. You think you you think you can fool me? You think you can fool me with this fake card? You actually think you can fool me with this fake card? Come on, man. Come on. Your team's pretty good. Your team's like an 8.5 out of 10. But if you think you can fool me with a fake card, someone else tried. Like, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. You will never fool me with that fake card. This looks like a troll squad, but this is a troll squad. Current gen. Freelance against man, 4-1. Getting dunked over Kobe. Dirk's not going anywhere. KD's not going anywhere. Pink Diamond, Tyrion Unlimited, 27 and 24. How the hell does it do with this squad have a better record than me? What? Like, no, no. That's, that's just not it. Like, do I have to run with an 84 overall squad or something? Is that what I have to do? Do I have to run with Emerald Rex Chapman? Because, like, there is no way that you are 30... Unless you are... T like, I don't even think Ty would be 34 and 27 with this squad. Or 37 and 24 with this squad. Like, how are, are you only facing bots? You are either the single best player in the world. You are either the best player to ever pick up a controller. Or you are getting the god run to get to be 37-24. Do I have to run? Is this the type of line I have to run? Do not face guys with Peyton every single game. Dear Lord. Dear Lord, this team is ass. Like, this is a 2 out of 10. Like... Drew Holiday's decent. James Harden's decent. And Serge Ibaka's okay. Like, Pascal Siakam's alright. Like, Darren freaking Gollison. Rex Chapman. Like, I get it. He's at base 22. Clay Sapphire. He's fine for draft, I guess. Dirk is a garbage man. That Kevin Durant is awful. Kobe Bryant was terrible on day one. This team is garbage. And I don't care what anyone says. Like, if you are, you are have a better record than me. 2K, my account has to be rigged. Like, I only face against dudes with Peyton and Sweats. There is no way. There is no way a competent player is losing to this squad. Because this is a badly structured team. You have no real height on your team. You've got one person on your entire team who can grab ball. You are going to have paint mashed into oblivion with this squad. None of your players, you have only two players in your entire squad with Interceptor. This team is terrible. This is... No, no, I don't believe it. I do not believe it. This team's ass. This team is genuinely ass. And I'm, I'm sorry if you're watching this video. Man, you, you're the best player in the world. If you're 37 to 24, you are either having a god tier unlimited run. You are either facing bots in every game. You're the best player in the world. Because that record is... In 2021, in the SPMM era of 2K, a 37 to 24 record is not bad at all in unlimited. It's not. And you've done it with one of the worst teams I've ever seen. This is a 1 out of 10. No. You have these two players here. 2 out of 10. 2 out of 10 because you've got Drew Holiday and James Harden. That team is ass. Like, that's the worst team I've ever had to. Ever had to review. Okay. I feel bad for you doing Luca. He was like 40k to lock in those collections. Point guard's fine. I mean, Corver's fine. Batum's good. I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of Blake at a power forward. Honestly, I prefer him at center. I, uh, I would probably go Blake at center. If you want to just go all out offense, Blake at center, Sadiq Bay at power forward. Unless you want to go and um, sell that badge to Blake and put in Sadiq Bay, who's just better. Like, Sadiq Bay is way better. Roko's all right, Batum's a beast. I mean, Karan Butler's usable. I'm not a fan of Luka. 
I've put in Matisse Thybul instead of Luca. If you're a fan of Luca, you're a fan of Luca. Um, I put Matisse Thybul in because you don't really have anyone to guard ball. Maxi's fine. Maxi will get creamed by screens. Um, not a terrible team. Not a brilliant team either. Okay. Vitkreji. I mean, he didn't even get it. Not they're not even aligned properly. Vitkreji, the six foot eight point guard. Um. But yeah, that is a uh, it's a ten out of ten team. Just start playing my team again. You know what? That curry is actually not terrible. Especially because you got two guys in guard ball in your starting lineup. This team is not as bad as it looks. It's not good by any means. You've got a six foot three small forward. Or a 6'4 small forward, depending on what way you run your team. And a garbage man, Rui Hachimura. Um, so you only have 5k to work with. Honestly, just replace Otis Birdsang with Matisse Taibo. Replace Rui Hachimura with Sadiq Bey. Sell Bill Lambeer and buy Ha Sung Jin. And, I mean, your team is significantly better then. It's not terrible. Like, it's not a very good team. But this Curry is actually surprising. Either. He's the only one of the current series players I would say is actually good. Space word Bird 2, the GOAT. Steve Mix. There's a tra- I did not know that that Tracy McGrady card existed. Like, I am genuinely like a freaking encyclopedia in this game, and I did not know that card is real. I have never seen that card in my life. I did not know he existed. You need to start making videos again, Space. You need to start making videos again. Like, 15 out of 10. Okay. Any other teams? A lot of kind of similar teams. I like this budget squad. Like, David Mitchell's good. Eric Snow's good. Sadiq Bey, I like. I like Darius Moss. I like Serge Ibaka. I like Roko. Lamarck's all just ML card. This team's not bad at all. This team's really, really not bad at all. I mean, it is what it is. Just hold on to your MT. Just try to win some games. It is nice. It is a nice, nice team. Dear, you are a psychopath. If you guys don't know what these were, these challenges took so freaking long to do. Like, these cards took like two hours each to get, and they were all trash cans. The only one of these, I think Pritchard had some Pritchard had some good badges. He was just a six-one point guy in the game where we had demigods. I think Herder was okay. There were like one or two. Jay Scrub was good. Jay Scrub was good. These guys were trash cans, like Otto Porter. Like these guys were like hidden rubies. Jacob or my Ace and Plumley had like a 60, 53 ball. He was a trash can. Like it's hard to describe how garbage these cards were. Oh my god, these season rewind cards were garbage. And the fact that you have 13 of them, he probably went and got all 30 of them. You are a psychopath. If you did those season rewind cards, and they didn't even like there were challenges to these season rewind cards. Season rewind reward cards didn't count. If you did these cards, you are a and it wasn't just to get, say, for example, if one of your favorite players won these. You are a psychopath if you did any of these guys. I, I did three, and I think I'm, I still think I'm crazy for doing it. I mean, you kind of defeats the purpose of having Jason Kidd. Like Jason Kidd is god tier on defense, but it defeats the purpose of him having another point guard beside him who can't create. What the hell is Theo Ratliff doing in your team? I just saw that. You've got Kobe not in your rotation? Sell Drew Holiday get Kobe in at the two. He can be a primary ball handler. Jason Kidd can just guard ball. Hal Hondo shoots. He's fine. Lebr just put LeBron in for Theo Ratliff. Kareem's fine. DeAndre Jordan's fine. Your bench is fine. But Jesus Christ. Lads, why is Theo Ratliff and Drew Holiday in your starting lineup? And Kobe and LeBron James aren't. Kid's not even that bad. Everyone's going to say sell Kid. Kid's not even that bad. Um, Okay. We're 24 minutes in. Let's see if I can get some interesting teams. Hmm. You can find something of interest. A unique team that you don't really see much of. I mean, everyone's running kind of the same collection of like seven or eight players at every position, aren't they? Which is fair, like. Which is fair. Everyone kind of does not bad. This is a fun team. I, this is a fun, fun team. This is not a normal team. First of all, I probably would replace Jamal off the bench. You only have 12k, but like Eric Snow is better. 
But valuable Darius Miles Blake and Ha with Jalen Green, Herder as a really good ball handler, and Jose Cal Jose Calderon's not terrible even. And Miles Bridges is really solid. Bam out of bio is very solid at the five. Batum's brilliant, just makes try to Evo him up. Um Kelly Oubre is so underrated. He is a 6'7 massive body two guard that a lot of people don't even realize like he's as good as he is. He is a huge body. And then Jordan Poole is actually a really solid point guard. I like this team. It's not a very good team, but it's more than like if you're good with it, more than capable. Um You haven't been able to sell those three rubies. Any suggestions that could be budget alternatives? I mean, find a way to get Sadiq Bay into the squad. I mean, probably sell Blake. I guess Sadiq Bay and just for more defense. Get Miles to the power forward, Sadiq Bay to the three. And then I would probably either put Davian Mitchell. I do like Davian Mitchell. I would put in either him or I would put in um Eric Snow as your backup point guy. But other than that, your team is pretty nice. Your team is pretty nice. And that's an interesting team. That's a team where not every like we, we don't see the same players over and over again. That dude at Kemba, which is interesting. Finally, someone at Ricky Rubio. Rubio's so good. I don't like Miles Turner power forward or a Baca power forward or Pierce. But finally, Surge is still decent. I mean, just guess City Bay. Like, that is literally just the, the the title of this video. should just be, just get City Bay. Now we're in the FIFA squads, man. Arnautovic is so good. If you can find a way to link Arnautovic, he's so good. Palatano. Palatano Insigne with... Oh, that's a nice little team. That is a nice little team right there. Better than mine, anyway. I haven't played FIFA in like two weeks because I've just been... Since I got sick, I haven't played FIFA. It's, 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 like, it's hard to get the energy to... Like, I'm literally... Like, today I play basketball for the first time. But, um... I'm literally just in bed. Non... Like, I'm literally... I'm in bed. I record. If I have to do something in the day, I do it. And if not, I'm just sleeping. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. So we've got Yura, we've got Zach Levine, the greatest car, the most unstoppable car in the history of my team. Hida freaking Turkoglu, the god, the god that is Dean Wade Ruby, Simvular Bronze, sorry, not Dean Wade Ruby, Dean Wade Bronze, Simvular Bronze, the most unstoppable big bronze we've ever seen. Vitkreji, the six foot eight point guard, Amethyst or Sapphire Harden. He was God. And this is back when Sapphire just meant reward. It didn't mean tier. He was actually really high rated. We got Jonathan Isaac at small forward. Or Jonathan Isaac in the year where the blow by was a thing. And he was just stop starting on everybody. Like poor man Giannis. The best shooter in the game. Channing Fry. The po original point center in Thon Maker. Um, Alan Houston. The stick God. Alexei Pokashevsky. His player model was just funny. And he had super speed. He was the first player in the game. We realized had super speed on next gen. And then Mirasan, the fastest player in my team history. Week one, Mirasan. Lads, we got to end it here. This team is beautiful. I mean, I'm trying to think, is there anyone missing? I mean, maybe we could have done with an AK. We could have done with an AK somewhere there. Reg Reggie Lewis for, his Poku chefs, for Poku. That might have worked. I mean, it might be a bit early to put Vit Reggie in. It might be a bit early to put the Zaragata goat in. Um, but other than that, I'll give it to you, man. I'll give it to you. These are the goats. So we're gonna end it there. So anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it, lads. This is the this is the first and only ten out of ten team we may ever see. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.